I say you're a politician, a lawyer, and a pastor walk into a rally. Actually, that's not a joke. That's my introduction for our next speaker. Yeah, the, the guy apparently just can't sit still. Okay, he, he's just like, you know, what other job can I take on? Uh, and now I'm going to become a pastor too. I'm of course speaking about uh, State Representative Matt Shea, who's. Now this is a guy, uh, he's actually one of my best friends. Uh, he will literally give you the coat off his back. I'm actually wearing his coat right now. Uh, he saw I was getting cold, so he took care of me. Um, but, uh, you know, Matt Shea's been in the legislature for about 12 years now. He has been uh, really kind of the foremost uh, representative in all of Washington State defending our natural rights. Uh, the media has hated him. They've gone after him um, in every way that they could. They've literally thrown everything and the kitchen sink at him, and nothing is stuck. And right when they thought that they could get rid of him, he just changed course. So now he's going to be super effective as a pastor. In fact, he's going to be my pastor. He also breeds the greatest attack dogs in the world. How many of you guys have uh, ever seen a Chewini? Yeah. If you want one, Talk to Matt. He breeds them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, with that introduction, put your hands together for Matt Shea. How's everybody doing? Welcome to Free America. And by the way, fake news media, wherever you're at right now, you prevaricating cowards, go interview the two young men that just spoke on this stage and try and say that we don't love every ethnicity in North Idaho and Eastern Washington. Freedom! 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 Man, does that not feel good? That, that makes you warm inside, doesn't it? I love it! You know what? So they, they, yeah, they tried to throw everything they possibly could, but it wasn't against me. It was against everybody that loves freedom and liberty. It was against everybody who believes the Constitution means what it says. It was against everybody who believes the, the Bible means what it says. It was against everybody, especially, who has fought for this country and for our freedom. How many veterans are out here right now? Raise your hand. Let's give them a round of applause. They try to make it sound, you know, it's interesting. If you know what they are going to do, you just look at what they're trying to accuse us of. That's what they're going to do next, right? Seriously. It's, for a year and a half, we've been warning. A year and a half we've been warning about Antifa and Redneck Revolt and the Socialist Rifle Association and the John Brown Gun Club. And sure enough, who is burning our cities to the ground? By the way, which they said they were going to do just six months ago as part of Bernie Sanders' campaign. And then the media's like, oh no, this is just the summer of love. <laughs> By the way, this is really funny. Okay, so... It took two days before the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone ran out of food and they put it, this is no joke, they put out a request for vegan meat and soy to be brought in to them in downtown Seattle. <laughs> you can't make it up, you can't. It's so funny, you know, and you're just like, do you guys realize where your food comes from? If we have a bunch of patriotic truckers who just say, you know what, we're going to stop delivering to every city in America that tries to defund our police, let's see how you like your soy latte then. The other thing that I love too about what's going on right now is for about five years we've been talking about a movement I want to mention it tonight this afternoon 
We've been talking about a movement, and it's about freedom, right? The enemy brings death and robbery and destruction. He wants to kill, steal, and destroy. And you're seeing that in downtown Seattle right now, right? Seeing it. For five years, we have been trying to create Liberty State because our Constitution says, under Article 4, Section 3, you can do that. We want to put it on the ballot for this November in every county in eastern Washington. And I'm going to say this today. How about every county in North Idaho, north of the Salmon River? Yeah. Now, why do I say that? Because right now we have mayors of cities in western Washington that want to see destruction and chaos. I don't want to see that for my family, do you? No. I don't want to see it for my family. So how about you have your soy lattes, your vegan meat, and your chaos, and we're, we're going to have our wheat fields and our potato crops, and we're going to have our gold and our silver, and we're going to have our timber and our fish, and we're going to have our freedom. How about that? So if you believe that, I mean this. We want to get this on the ballot in every county in eastern Washington and North Idaho for this coming November. I want to mention another thing too. People ask me all the time, Matt, what can you do in a time like this? Pray, number one. The second thing that you can do is act. Get out beyond the four walls of the church and join organizations like the John Birch Society, which is the greatest and most effective organization out there fighting communism and Marxism in America because they've been doing it accurately, literally for decades. And then number three, I want you to take a look at something called understandingthethreat.com. Those guys have been exposing the jihadist threat in America better than any organization in the country. Those three things are things that we can do to act. Now, I'm going to conclude with some exhortation. I know it's a fancy word for just getting you guys pumped up. You guys ready? All right. So, this is a time our founding fathers warned us about. You understand that, right? They predicted one day that if our morals went away, that we would be in a time like this. They predicted one day that lesser men would be in charge of our urban areas in this country. They predicted one day that they would try to take our free speech under the guise of safety. They predicted one day that our churches would be closed under the guise of safety. They predicted one day that there would be a really, 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 really good reason to try to take our guns. They predicted one day there would be a really, 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 really good reason to say you don't have the Fourth Amendment anymore and we can search everything that you own, whether it's electronic or not. They predicted one day also that there would be patriots who would stand in the gap between tyrants and freedom. They predicted one day that we would be standing out in character building weather regardless of what the people tried to do to us kicking us out of the building, what they tried to do to us in the media, and they would say those Americans that were called for that time would stand unwaveringly would stand with faith, would stand with freedom, and would stand against the tyrants no matter what they threw at us and no matter what they said about us. And I want to exhort you with this. I was on a national phone call last week. And you know what the example for the rest of America was? Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, when we stood on the line. So, 
As you can tell, I am not out of the fight. I'm just starting. I'm just starting and I know so are you. So I'm going to end with this. No matter what comes, if generals try to do a coup against our president, if they try to shut down our patriot rallies, if they try to attack our patriot leaders, whatever they try to do, no matter what comes, no matter if it's raining or if it's snowing, no matter if they try to send hordes of soy, latte-drinking liberals from Seattle to Coeur d'Alene, no matter if they wear masks, no matter what they do, we will stand our ground for freedom and the next generation because this is the time that America will be free for the rest of our lives. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? And that's why we're patriots. God bless you guys. Take it easy.